All right, everybody, welcome back to the Nobody Greater podcast with me today, Chris. Um, today, I'm going to just be talking about, um, as you guys know, today, um, or the second day for you guys, but today was the first day of training camp for the Las Vegas Raiders. We was actually the first team to have rookies and veterans show up today um, for training camp. We was the first team to officially start training camp, so... Uh, always going to cheer on the Raiders for pushing the envelope forward and trying to be first with everything. Um, that's one thing I can really appreciate as a fan. Uh, but what comes with that, even though that's good news and we got a lot of good news coming from the Raiders camp and the Raiders side of things, we do got bad news to report as well, um, which you never want to report. But uh, we do have some players that won't be uh, participating in training camp. Uh, we don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, it could be one week, two weeks. It could be the whole training camp um, that they can miss. But some players that you won't be looking forward to seeing are going to be our cornerback, Trayvon Mullen Jr. Um, somebody I'm very high of. I, I love watching Trayvon Mullen Jr. play. Um, a lot of people are very indifferent on him, but he's all, he's one of my favorite players on the defensive side of the ball. Um, then we got two defensive tackles. Um, that you guys are familiar with. Uh, Jonathan Hankins, um, he won't be on the field. And Bilal, I hope I'm saying this right, Bilal Nichols, he also, uh, who's a a backup defensive tackle, he also won't be on the field for training camp. Um, And we also got two more cornerbacks and one more defensive tackle. Those two cornerbacks are going to be Nate Hobbs. I love, love, love Nate Hobbs. Um, I think I'm actually going to get a Nate Hobbs jersey. Um, in the next few weeks. That's how much I really love him as a player, even though uh, he did get in a little bit of trouble with um, earlier this year. But that's besides the fact we're talking about the football player, Nate Hobbs. I love whenever he plays. Uh, he always flashes whenever he's on my screen. Um, and he's going to be a really solid cornerback for a long, long time in the NFL. Uh, another cor- the other cornerback that will be missing from training camp on the physically unable to perform list is going to be the cornerback that we traded uh, Yannick Ngakwe for, Rock Yassin. I mean, the coolest name in the NFL to me other than Young Way Cool. <laughs> but uh, Rock Yassin, he's injured uh, at the moment. Like I said, a lot of these players um, – we don't know when they're going to be back. I'll keep you guys updated with that because uh, I'm pretty sure you guys want to know when they're going to be back. So I'll keep you guys coming with the videos. Uh, if I get any updates on this, keep in mind, this is just the beginning of training camp. So uh, they could be back anytime soon. Uh, and then the last player that we're going to bring up is uh, defensive tackle Neil Farrell Jr. I don't want to get him confused with Cleveland Farrell. But uh, Neil Farrell Jr., he also would not be uh, performing at the beginning of training camp. Um, I'm sure all of these players got their reason. I'm sure they all got different injuries. Um, Anything can happen. You guys know it's the NFL. It's a physical sport. And um, if you guys have seen any training videos of NFL players preparing themselves for training camp or for the season, you guys know it's a lot that goes in to that. Um, a lot of wear and tear on your body just from training. Uh, I mean, over the years, the NFL done cut down and um, came up with better policies. There's no longer two-a-days. Uh, I believe the players don't have to wear pads and helmets um, like during um, mini camps and mandatory mini camps. They, they, it's a lot less uh, strenu- strenuous on the body um the nfl because they want they want the players to last longer they don't want the players getting hurt uh, as you guys know in the past a lot of players would tear their acls tear their achilles uh, just because of how much um activity they was going through with, within those training camps so the nfl want to cut back on that um give every upper give every player the opportunity to um perform and to make it to the season healthy because that's what we really want no matter what team you root for. You want your players healthy whenever you start the season. You want your best 53 players. You don't really want players missing that you know is going to be crucial to either your offense or your defense. But uh, that's just my take on the situation. Like I said, I'm going to keep you guys updated with these players. So uh, I'm going to keep you guys updated with training camp. Uh, I got a lot of content coming for you guys. I'm really excited. 
this is the most exciting uh, part of the off season for me, other than free agency and the draft. But um, we're nearing, we're nearing the beginning of the NFL season. We're nearing preseason. We're nearing all of that. Uh, you guys are going to get videos about the competition battles going on throughout training camp. Um, a lot of a lot of exciting content I got coming for you guys. So just stay locked in with me. Um, stay hitting that like button. Stay subscribing. Stay commenting. Uh, and just being active within the channel because I'm being active with you guys. So love you guys. Thank you for viewing the video. Till we meet again.